Singapore saw a spike in COVID-19 infections in migrant worker dormitories from early April 2020, and the dorms went into lockdown. It's been two years since workers living in cramped dormitories in Singapore struggled with the rapid transmissions of COVID-19. With treatment, vaccination and safe management, the situation has stabilised and workers have returned to work. To build a COVID-resilient future, Singapore has begun building better facilities to keep workers safe and healthy. One part of the solution is the Sengkang Migrant Worker Onboarding Centre, designed by Sabana Jurong. This short-stay dormitory is built in spacious surroundings and well-ventilated. The team of Sabana Jurong's architects and engineers who designed it has had experience repurposing existing buildings into community care facilities. One of the biggest takeaways from those projects was the modular prefabricated prefinished volumetric construction or PPVC method which cut construction time from 18 months to 10 months for the Sengkang Dorm project. While the modules were being manufactured in a factory, the site team laid the groundwork so that the modules could be installed right after they arrived from the factory. Cutting the time by eight months helped SJ to manage worker shortage issues at the height of COVID-19 pandemic. The Sengkang Dome is designed to house 5,000 people over 18 blocks. The dome is designed with flexible use in mind, unlike the many other existing dormitory, which is only designed for a single purpose. As we are shifting from the pandemic to endemic mode, the Sengkang Dome is designed with flexible use from day one. It can be used as a quarantine facility, like currently the government is doing a migrant worker onboarding centres. In the event of any pandemic, it can be converted into a community care facility for the workers. The design can be reconfigured at any time. Engineers have laid utility, water and sanitary services underground so that open spaces can be converted to a temporary care facility right away. The shell and core out of the way, the architects worked with the engineers to make sure residents were safe and comfortable. We actually provided more space per person, per bedroom, so that each of these dormitory occupants they can choose to do something with the own space that they have to create a sense of belonging that maybe they might not have as compared to the older dormitories that squeeze, let's say, 10 or 15 people inside the same dorm. At the same time, we also chose to decentralise some of the facilities that usually you see that are centralised. One such example is actually the dining and cooking facilities. So instead of putting the dining and cooking facilities inside the same space in the middle of the dorm, we actually put it into each of the individual blocks on the first floor. COVID-19 has challenged how the SJ multidisciplinary teams responded in helping Singapore transition into a COVID-resilient society. COVID-19 has greatly changed the way how we envisage building living spaces. And of course, it also taught us that the need for public spaces to be designed to be more flexible uh, rather than just a single use. Indeed, adapting spaces is a major challenge as our architects and engineers design for a COVID-resilient world. Sabana Jurong is proud to have pitched in to keep workers safe and support the recovery of the construction business in Singapore, fundamental for a thriving economy.